Hi, Rosa, I'm late. The kids made me read them three stories before they let me go. You're right on time. Your parents and Consandra are having orders in the living room. Has Mason shown up yet with his date? Not yet. No, I guess we'll see her soon enough. Thanks. Even a simple dinner turns into a drama when Mason's involved. Well, that's a gift of sorts, isn't it? Making drama out of ordinary events. Mm. Hello, Hi, sweetheart. Daddy. Hi, Mama. Cassie. Hi, my darling. We were just having a discussion about Mason. He came over here, and he was in a very strange mood. We just don't know what's going on with him again. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Um, you haven't changed at all. I said the same thing for this morning. Aren't you going to say hello to my mother? You haven't seen her for so long. Uh, oh. Hello, Mrs. I forget which last name you're using now. Capwell, of course. Uh, Won't you take my mother's wraps? Yes. Uh, is there something wrong with my dress? Of course not. Is that why you wanted to borrow the wedding picture? That's enough. What is she talking about? That's enough, Rosa. Thank you. Mason, you're making me nervous. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, Mother. You look beautiful. Uh, oh. She was still... She's cured. They sent her home. Mason, no one will be happy to see her. Why do you want to put her through this? She asked to come here tonight, Rosa. Shall we join the others? Careful, Dan. Mother, you know everyone here except Cassandra. Cassie, this is my mother, Pamela. How do you do? Hello, Cassandra. Eden, how are your husband and your children? Very fine, thank you. Oh, I'm very glad. I understand you moved back here, Sophia. Congratulations. Mason, I knew you were planning something, but I can't believe you went this far. If I had told you my mother was back and healthier than she's been in years, would you have believed me? No, of course not. You would have refused to see her. This way you cannot deny the evidence of your own eyes. It was her idea to come tonight. And I hesitated at first because I knew what your reaction would be, all of you. But I can see now it was the right thing to do. She doesn't belong here, Mason. Well, where would I belong if not with my son? She hurt you more than anybody else. That was when I was ill. I mean, how can I be held responsible for my actions then? I, he understands. He's forgiven me. I just don't want to be shut out of my son's life anymore. Please give me, give me a chance. If, as you say, I've been hurt more than anyone, then surely the fact that I have forgiven her in spite of that must mean something to you. This is not the woman who caused all that pain. She suffered more than any of us could possibly imagine. She's fought her way back to sanity after months and years of darkness, and she did it because she loves me. How can I possibly turn my back on her? How can you turn away? May I have a moment alone with you right now? Please. I know you're angry because we took you by surprise. But doesn't she look and sound wonderful? She's as sane as you are now. I will give you one minute, 60 seconds, to get that woman the hell out of this house. 